what do you think about the uh, the monitor being venomous? That whole thing. Like, I don't think that's a hundred percent confirmed, but there there are certain monitors where they've you know Dr. Brian Fry and whatnot have done research where they're looking at the the, gl- the salivary glands and and starting to pull out yes. some toxins. Do you have an opinion on that? Yeah, I. Personally, my opinion is yes, they are venomous. Um, just also from experience of like some bites my friends have had. And there was recently one of my friends sent a message to another friend saying, okay, I was uh, bitten by this monitor. I think it was Varanus exanthematicus, which is your Savannah monitor. And he listed all his symptoms. And the guy was like, crazy that's the exact same symptoms I had. So he didn't tell him his symptoms first to like have the preconceived idea that he had these crazy symptoms, but he listed them out. And then the uh, other guy who had previously been bitten said, yep, I've had those exact same symptoms. So yes, I do believe they are venomous. Yeah, which is amazing. I mean, that is such a crazy thing and but it also makes sense sort of in an evolutionary way and you have these and i mean the old theory of the komodo dragon having the the bacteria or mouth full of bacteria and it probably makes more sense that there, it is actually envenomating kind of like a rear fang venomous snake would, would envenomate prey yes so like some of your rear fang venomous snakes are actually some of the most toxic they just have a poor delivery system and that's that's the reason they may be considered as like mildly or not dangerous at all for instance i think in 1971 uh, the boomslung was still considered a non-lethal snake until someone actually died from a bite from it and now we know it's the most toxic snake in africa on the ld50 chart so the ld50 chart is lethal dose to 50 mice mm-hmm. so it's it's a cool chart to have, but it's not accurate, an accurate re, re, uh, representation of like human bites. Right. Because we are different to mice. But it still shows the, the toxicity of that venom, which is pretty incredible. Yes, it does. For the most part, because like different venoms will attack different things. Like some are specialist uh, reptile eaters, like your king cobras may not be as toxic on the LD50 chart, but they may be more toxic towards other snakes, that, that, that type of thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're, you're actually not measuring it properly. Almost. If you're just using mammals when the venom is specifically designed for the prey. Yes, exactly. And there's so much we don't know about venom because everything is like, it's so complicated. That's why it's known as a, a cocktail, a venom cocktail, because there's just everything in it yeah well and that was the other thing that i've learned from your podcast is you know people get bit they get envenomated they go through the you know, anti-venom go to the hospital they get better and they're recovered but then there's like underlying organ issues that will haunt them forever in some cases which is really surprising i guess not surprising but i was surprised to hear it <laughs> yeah it, it just it takes a toll on your body and it, it damages your insides because if you think about it like those cytotoxic bites it's literally acid in your body that's eating away at your flesh and then if that's going through your kidneys and your liver being processed that's also taking a big knock so that's why being bitten is it's something you want to avoid at all costs it's not just something to take lightly like i'm i'm an absolute wussy for being bitten by any snake because okay not any snake snake but i don't want to be bitten even by those mildly venomous snakes because over time you can build up an allergic reaction and then your organs take strain and then if you do get bitten by something that's a little bit more toxic that could be it for you yeah yeah exactly yeah the allergic reaction that over you know over time is just wearing down your body it doesn't make sense i don't want to get bitten by any snake either like i've never been bitten by one of my snakes and it's because i don't do anything with i don't reach in and grab them and i I try to be respectful for them because i'm just not interested in in being bitten and it's actually an easy thing to avoid as long as you're not in a rush and whatnot